Ever since Splatoon first hit the shelves, yes, I'm talking about all the way back in 2015, there have been countless amiibo. All of them come with different sets of gear, and some of them are definitely worse than others to say the least. Going in chronological order, Inkling Girl is one of the three amiibos that released back in 2015. This is also the first amiibo I've actually ever owned, besides Toon Link, but that one really wasn't mine, just my cousins. But it's my first ever Splatoon amiibo. The Inkling Girl amiibo gives you the school girl outfit, which at some point during Splatoon 2 was kind of my main outfit, as I use the hair clip from there almost all the time. I rate this one an S rank, as it's very good, and it holds a lot of sentimental value to me. Another amiibo part of the original 3 pack that dropped back in 2015, this time comes with the samurai gear and... I mean, I, I, I guess it looks cool? Unlike the schoolgirl outfit, you really can't mix and match here. Like, you could probably match with the hair clip with something for the schoolgirl outfit, but with this one, who's wearing this big ass samurai hat with a casual hoodie? Actually, uh, yeah, don't answer that. Because I know one of y'all gonna be like, I will save yours, I will. Don't answer that. F tier. In the last meal, originally part of the three pack, we have the green squid. This one. Are, are you kidding me, Nintendo? Ser seriously, Nintendo. Who in the world decided this would be a good idea? This is literally lower than F. Like, it needs its own tier. We're gonna give it the who is wearing this tier because who is wearing this? Next up, we have the inferior squid sister, Callie. She comes with the default hero outfit. I used to see these things in Splatoon 2 almost every time I played, and the people who wore them usually weren't the greatest teammates, but the outfit is definitely cool. I'll give it a B rank. Not bad, and definitely not the best. Now we have the best squid sister, and the only one that actually matters, Marie. She comes with the armor outfit, which, even though she's the best squid sister, this outfit looks like what a 70 year old dad wore on a hike. Yeah, it's not the best. We'll give it D rank. Nintendo. What are we doing? Who genuinely thought this would be a good idea for an amiibo outfit? Like, you have to pay over $20 to wear this. It's literally just a green squid armor, but a little bit smaller and a little bit better, but still, who was unironically wearing this? F tier. One tier higher than the outfit so bad it had to get its own tier. Shame on you, Nintendo. You need to do way better because we're paying countless of money and this is what you give us. Now we're on to Splatoon 2. And we'll start with another pretty basic fit. Just in the school uniform. I'll give it an S tier. Reminds of the Splatoon 1 outfit, just redesigned. Nothing to really change and the outfit could be mixed and matched depending on what you use. Now it's time for the Inkling Boy. And I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like this outfit. But it obviously cannot be mixed and matched. But it was a pretty cool idea. It's not that bad, but it really isn't that good either. I don't get a C tier. Decent fit, I would've put it in B tier, but yeah, it can't be used with other outfits. And that is definitely a huge letdown. We are officially halfway to rating every single Splatoon Amiibo, and if you like what you see, subscribe! Because I'll be listing way more Splatoon related stuff soon. This is one of my favorite Amiibo outfits ever. It's definitely my top three, but there are a few problems with it. Like the last one, it's hard to mix and match, but depending on how you dress, Pat might be able to sneak through. Other than that, not really. It's still a good outfit, and I love how the design looks on the outfit. It's definitely one of the funnier outfits to mess around with. I'll give it A to you. Nintendo. We were doing so well, man. Two decent outfits, and now we're back to this. We can't just keep a streak going. There's obvious problems with this stupid outfit. I mean, who's wearing this with a normal hoodie or shirt? F to you. Do I need to talk about this one? Do I really need to talk about this one? You already know how I feel about this one, let's be real. S tier, no questions asked. Now we're on to the inferior outfit member. She does have a decent outfit though. The crown you can wear with both things, same with the shoes, the, the shirt. Hey, it's, it's a hoodie, why did I put shirt in the script? The hoodie, I'm not very sure. It's still a pretty good outfit though. It's a calm look I'll give it C tier, not bad. Now we're on to the best outfit member and the one that actually matters has a pretty decent outfit. I mean, you can kind of make the headphones work with other outfits. Other than that, not really. It's kind of just weird to look at when putting other outfits on with the shoes or the top. But it's not a terrible item. It's just okay. C tier. This outfit is pretty cool. The fish can go with anything because, well, it's a literal fishbone. Same with the top and the shoes. All three of these being school related outfits, respectively. Not a lot of problems with this one either. It just looks cool and it's actually pretty nice. I'll give it A tier. Now, the boy. Well, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, the karate fit is pretty cool. I don't see much of a problem with it. The problem lies in the mix and match because none of these items will look good on any type of outfit. These are another one of these outfits you have to wear with the whole thing, and that's what I don't like about some of these amiibos. I know the whole point for us to be a set, but some of these outfits shouldn't be so obscure that they cannot fit into another outfit. Just keep it simple, Nintendo. Anyways, let's give it CT. I don't even want to talk about this one, to be honest. It's just... Eh, the shoes and the hat are the worst part of this set. It's just terrible, to be honest. 
it's not insanely bad, but it's pretty bad. But it's not as bad to get its own tier. But it's still decently bad. We'll give it F tier. The best Deco member has a pretty okay fit. It's a fit that she wears normally, which kind of sucks. Because most of these sets were actually kind of boring, as it was just copying the actual fit that they wear when they did the news. But they did do the same thing with Pro Marina. The mask is the but they did do the same thing with Pro Marina, so I can't really complain. The mask is the only item that can really get matched here, but it's so cool that I personally think it's one of the best clothing items in the game. I'll give it a B tier. My second favorite member has another decent outfit. Nothing too bad, nothing too good either though. The hat could pass as a good item when mixed and match, but it's once again kinda eh. The worst but the most funniest deep cut member, Big Man. Big Man has an okay outfit. It was creative that they gave us a jacket to wear with Big Man's texture on it. Quick look at we were actually a manta ray. That is pretty cool, but it's nothing really to take note on. I'll give it a C tier. Pretty basic outfit. And with that, every single Splatoon Rainbow's gear for now has been ranked. See you on the next video. Goodbye.